Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will be presenting a simple tutorial video for the custom corrected RSS feed plugin. So this plugin is able to extract an RSS feed from any website and put it on your own website. So this plugin is publishing RSS feeds on your website and the source of these RSS feeds are any website from out there that you pointed to. So let me show you in this tutorial video a basic usage example of it. So for the advanced uh, usage and advanced examples, I will be making another tutorial video. You will be able to check it in the playlist that is in next to this video. So I will be creating a playlist. This is the first video from the playlist. This is the basic example. The second video will be with more advanced examples and more features of this plugin. So right now let me go ahead and start creating a basic feed from a website. So after you install the plugin, so you go to plugins, add new and install the zip file that you have extracted from the package that you downloaded from Code Canyon. And after you install the plugin, you will be presented with this screen if you click on the custom created RSS feeds. So this will be the main uh, menu of the plugin. Here you will find many advanced settings. For the basic usage, you should go to web crawl to feeds. So click here. And here you will be able to create RSS feeds from custom URL. So let me go ahead and point it to Code Revolution blog. So if we check this page, then we will see that this is my blog and it contains some posts about WordPress. And now let me go ahead and show you how to import content from this site. So point the plugin to the Code Revolution page. We will have 10 posts in the RSS feed, so 10 items in the RSS feed at maximum. This is the maximum number of items that it will be included. The ske schedule it uh, after which it automatically refreshes it is 24 hours. The feed name will be this, so we can name this Code Revolution. We can change the default name that the plugin gave to the feed. And if we click settings, we will be able to modify some more things like feed title, URL, description, language, update period, and so on. And if we go here, we can customize feed item, uh, title content, publish date, and so on. But now I will leave all these unchanged and only configure the basic structure of the plugin. So the basic we will need to set the crawling restrictions from where to instruct the plugin from where should it get the content. So this is used to not scrape the start URL from which you are starting uh, the crawling process. If you don't check this, the start URL that you uh, start the crawling process will also be included in the RSS feed and its contents. So if you don't want this, check this checkbox. Afterwards, we can go and set the seed page crawling query type. This is the settings field where you define from where you wish to import content from the seed page. You should select their visual selector and here click on a title of a post that uh, the plugin should import. The plugin will know that you clicked on this title and it will infer and import all similar titles from this page. So if you click on a title here, you will be able to set the plugin to start crawling from there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and set content query type. This is optional. However, it is good to set it because if you uh, leave the plugin to auto detect the content, then uh, other stuff might also be included in the feeds. 
So here you can also set visual selector and if you set the settings correctly until now, the plugin will be able to detect the post as it shows here. So it is not opening anymore the source page from where you started crawling, but it is opening directly a post example. It uh, found after crawling the start, si the start page. Here you should highlight and select the content that you wish to import. So in, in this case, this is the content. So click it and we can go ahead and save settings. After we save settings, you will see that feed not generated. If you hover your mouse over this question mark feed not generated, we can go ahead and run this rule now to fire uh, feed generation right now or wait out the schedule that we set and the plugin will run automatically. However, I like to generate my feeds uh, manually after I um, set up the rules and right now we can see that the plugin is importing content and it is generating the feed. So after the generation is complete we will have an RSS feed that will contain 10 posts from my uh, blog on this test site. So let's wait this process out because it can take a while because if you get 10 posts from a page the plugin needs to crawl each and every post but as you can see it is already finished so if we refresh the page and once again hover over the question mark we can see resulting feed link and if we click on it we can uh, check the full RSS feed that was imported. So you can see that it contains four, full content of uh, the uh, page that was imported. So the full content of the page will be available. Full content of crawling page of the crawl page you can uh, customize this by reducing the amount of content that is included in the feeds or many many other options are avail available on the plugin but this will be shown in the next tutorial video where i will show advanced settings for this plugin so stay tuned also if you want to get more similar tutorial videos Please subscribe to this channel because I will release one new video each day at 8 p.m. GMT. So thank you for watching this video until then. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye bye.